Parents are speaking out after a 15-year-old brought a loaded gun to Lapham Elementary School in Madison. News 3's Keely Arthur is in the newsroom with the details. Keely? Susan, the teen goes to an alternative school housed on the top floor of Lapham. And while no one was injured, the Madison School District says this is a learning experience for their schools, parents, and hopefully the young man involved. Where's the train going to go? Like any parent, Emily Sonneman wants to keep her kids safe and innocent. The secret passageway. Awesome. But sheltering them from the constant chaos. Like the most recent shooting in San Bernardino is getting difficult. I think unfortunately we live in a world where yucky scary things happen and it's really frightening. That knowledge made the fact that a loaded gun was in her second grader school even more terrifying. I think parents initial reaction is yikes that's really scary. But Sonneman and other parents say they don't blame the 15 year old. I think the bigger issue is that there's access to guns and limited gun control. This is not a problem of the fact that we have older kids with our little ones. This is a problem, a much larger problem. It's our problem of gun control. It's not known how the student got a hold of the gun, but he told police he didn't want to harm anyone. And I hope that while the community ought to be upset for anything like this happening ever, um, that they'll also be compassionate about, uh, well, you know, a young man who made a terrible mistake and who will, I'm sure, learn from it. Superintendent Jennifer Cheatham says the district has also learned from it with a plan to move the alternative high school. That was something that was already underway, so this incident is um, uh, helping us uh, maybe move that process along a little faster than we originally intended. Well, are you going to get the tracks out and build it? Yeah. Yeah. No matter what happens, Sonneman says one bad incident can't outweigh all the good at Lapham, and she's excited for her son to join his sister next year. He's looking forward to it, and so are we. This student was taken to the juvenile reception center yesterday on a tentative charge of possessing a gun in a school zone. Susan? Keely Arthur in the newsroom tonight. Keely, thanks.